bitch! Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for episode 8 of season 1 of The Haunting of Hill House. This time the title of the episode is Witness Marks. And I am excited to continue watching. I did some sort of binge last week with uh, uh, with The Haunting of Hill House. And even though I love doing binge, I this week I'm going to take one episode every other day. Uh, mostly because I, I don't want it to end. And other thing is that I love hearing your feedback about the episodes and this show, you know, it, it needs to be talked. And yeah, I cannot wait for your guys' feedback on this episode. So, hope that you guys enjoy my reaction video. I, today, I uh, pretty much forced my brother to watch the pilot, I mean, the first episode for, for this one. And the fucking bitch, like, I'm so sorry, but the bitch, like, I didn't say anything because you guys know how much I hate the spoilers. I didn't, he was like, tell me, tell me what's going to happen. I was like, no, I'm not going to tell you. And the minute Nelly sees the, the lady, the bent neck lady, my brother called it and said, I bet that is, that is the same girl that for some reason is possessed. And like, of course he didn't put all the, the, the things together because it's the first episode but he said freaking i don't know how he said i bet that's the little girl and she's possessed for some reason and i was like how how did he do and he says that it's because he, he and it's the truth he watches a lot of horror movie he loves watching all of that and i know how this works and i was like what so yeah, there is that. But I hope that he continues watching it. And while watching the first episode again, uh, I noticed the ghosts. There was a lot of ghosts in that first episode. Like behind Stevie, uh, Steve, when the dad is about to take him out of the house. When the, when they are getting out of the house, the ghosts are on the stairs as, as well. I didn't see that the first time I saw them. So I was really, really, um, it was really cool to actually catch them. I'm not going to try to catch them here. If I see them, I see them, but it takes away the fun if I'm trying to just look for the ghost. I, I will leave that when I'm, I do my rewatch. Uh, but anyways, I'm excited. I hope that you guys are excited as well. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more comment, hit the notification bell, and go to Patreon to watch the full uncut reaction video for this episode. Uh, and also, I want to let you guys know that episode 4, for some reason, got blocked worldwide. And I already dispute the claim. Uh, and it's going to take a few weeks uh, for it to be live again. So if you are wondering where, where episode 4 is... That is the reason why you can go to, to Patreon and you can watch it there if you if you want. Uh, but yeah, that is why you cannot watch it on page on YouTube right now. That's it. Without further ado, let's just begin with season one, episode eight of the Hunting of Hill House. <laughs> Planning and pacing intercourse. Very romantic. Very romantic. Yeah. So we're looking at. Is that a problem? Possibly, possibly not. That what is that? Age are all factors. Over 35 is well, very often it's manageable, but it might be likely that what is that? test results we go straight to NV. Is that Nelly? Sounds fair. <laughs> all right, so Steven, when can we schedule your tests? Or your mom's? No, it's two weeks. Well, he was doing some things by himself, baby. We'll need to reschedule <laughs> it for another time. Is that the mom? Oh, it's the mom. Looks like the mom. We gotta talk. Bitch. Steve. Oh, God. Steve. So you'll text it's me? Steve. Next I time miss her so much. Oh, I don't think he did. I don't think you it was him. Do yeah. I ask yeah, you true. what you think, Theodora? Ooh, Sorry. Theodora. Oh, it my God. Who, she's she's who was mad. It? Maybe one of your kids. He may not be planning to come home. Oh, God. No, please. Where, 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 I don't want to lose another child. Anywhere. Warner? Maybe. You saw them. We're not going to tell them what we saw. It looks like we won. What's he doing? Is that, he's fixing a clock. 
Mom? Jesus Christ. What do you mean, sweetheart? Of course you're safe with me. Mom! <gasps> oh my god. What? Are you okay? She was talking to. Where? Where are the twins? Poor thing. She was. Is this how you take care of your brother and sisters? Jesus okay, I wasn't Christ, Dad, you're out of line. Oh, come on, you don't care. So I thought to myself, you know, that's all I, I, that's all I really wanted to say. That was very sweet, and a candy, really good candy, advice. Candy, candy. Sure you won't come with us? Look, Stop. I want to know what the hell happened. Turn off the port. Dude, she's upset. And her sister just died. And I want to know what the hell happened with Theo and him. I sort of will kill someone. That cannot happen. Okay, like they hooking up. I'm, I'm not buying it. They're persistent. Goddamn lights out. There's no one there. I fuck you. Close the door. Close the door. Cheryl. Close the door. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm on the edge. But he's a junkie. Be kind, Stephen. Where find him like this? It's like you protected mom. Oh, don't blame him. Here we go. I saw him sick in her mind, and the one person, the one person that was supposed to take care of her, didn't do a goddamn thing to Shit. get her help. <sighs> but it's more than that, right? It's not only. I miss her. And he's the one who remembers her the most. The game room. The what room? Upstairs. You know, I think a little paint maybe fix those drawers. She always asks, where, where is this it? game sure room? Who is that? Is that Ab Abigail? I thought so. This Who's must that? have been Poppy's. Who's Poppy? Oh my god. The rich chick from the internet? Oh, who the hell is she? She was that? William's wife. Yeah, okay. she looks <gasps> kind of wild. She was well, in I mean, the. Clinically. In, when... So was he. William's parents. Uh, that girl, when Nellie is doing, like, when she's back in the house, that girl was there. As a ghost, I'm guessing. Oh my god. Because this room doesn't exist or something. If the door opens, I will cry. Oh my god, oh my god, someone is just fucking with her. I am so scared right now. I don't want anything happening to Shirley. Who, what? How is this? Ha oh, they're just tricking her. Someone is just, something is just like going at. Um, uh. Oh, hey, Theo! I'm just uh, coming to apologize. Did you knock? What are you yelling at? Did you knock? Some fucking kids. Are Let me talk. I don't care what you have Let to her say. Let her talk. You understand? Get Let her talk. Out. You are impossible. You fucking suck at apology. <laughs> I'm in your guest house. I'm not some bohemian weirdo. I'm an adult. I am a fucking doctor. You're a fucking is. slut. <gasps> what? I just need you to know. Come on. It wasn't Kevin's fault. And he Get to shut me out of your life. What the fuck was that? Did you just punch me in the boob? <laughs> I think she did. What the hell was yeah. that? <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. Oh. Dying, dying normal. <gasps> what the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? I'm gonna be screaming like it took somebody. Like. Yeah, you both, you both experience this. You you cannot collectively hallucinate things. What is that? Who's that? He's heading. Shirley, <laughs> listen to me. You're gonna stay put. Oh, uh, what? He, tell them what happened. He's going to tell Hill House. Tell what just happened. He's going to the house. I think. Oh my God, no! Yes, he is. Oh my God. Goddamn house. It was a good enough spot for Nell. It's a good enough spot for Luke. No, no, don't say that, please. Why? Mom. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
five cans, you say? <gasps> He's gonna burn the house. Okay. Tries to burn it, it will defend itself. <laughs> yeah. You really didn't hear a word I said. Yeah, I did. No. Now you're yeah, yeah, yeah listen, listen to him. There's a lot you don't you understand me. Not even a little. <laughs> Our Steven, family shut is up. like an unfinished meal to that house, and your oh, brother no. is walking right back into the insanity of that the house. house. Is the most dangerous. Oh, she was not well. No, no, not okay. Her. The man repairing the clock. Oh, what the fuck about what was? What about? He wasn't there. Do you know what was meant to function? Okay, where are we going with this? Marks tell the story of the piece, if you know how to read them. What are you trying to say? I don't know. The guy wasn't there. The clock evaluated by professional. That was a ghost. No, and if I had, it would have taken specialists. Overalls with a handlebar mustache. That's the a hill. Wasn't there. That is a hill, dude. Just forgot. No. I think you're you're writing about your. I never built you kids a treehouse. What? What? Luke was in there all the time. Build you kids. Oh a my goddamn god. Tree. Maybe he was already there. There was no treehouse. What? No one we put. Oh, maybe they're on their way. I fucking hate this. Yeah, I think they're gonna come here. Oh my god. Oh, they, 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 they are. Oh my god. Yeah. Your excuses. I'm not making your excuses. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Are you trying to kill me? Are you seriously trying to kill me? Kill me! What the fuck, Nail? You, Cheryl, I think you can believe that. You just you ought to know why you did it. Nothing. Oh, sweetie. Nothing. Empty black hole. Oh, sweetie. And I tried heart. to fill it up. I tried to fill me, and I felt nothing. And oh so my I drank, God. And I drank, and nothing worked. I couldn't. Darkness and numbness and alone. Oh, and sweetheart. I wondered, that's what she felt, and that's what mom. Feels that it's just numb and nothing and alone. When the time comes. Oh my god, my child, my poor. And then the lights came on and God, I'm so glad I did it though. Because it worked. Because oh, now she god, can feel worked. again. I started feeling things that are better than that horrible empty nothing. I oh my god. Nothing, please. Hug your sister! I am, I am. Oh my god! If she doesn't win an Emmy for that performance, Jesus fucking Christ, did you see that? That was just amazing. Look, get back into your car! I don't want to lose another child, okay? <gasps> oh, he got inside. Isn't it like you burn it like from the inside, like from, from outside? I think just be careful. Look. <gasps> this fucking hell has a fire system. <laughs> Anti fire system. What the fuck? Don't, don't, don't. Don't look. Don't. You know that this house is gonna trick you. Don't. Maybe the house is already set on fire and he can see it right now. Maybe Nelly's trying to save that Nelly. Is that who the fuck was that? Oh no 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 no! I'm not watching more. That's it. That's all I can handle. <laughs> okay, guys, that was the end of season one, episode eight of the Haunting of Hill House. This episode was just incredible incredible because and you know what every single character has done at moments on the show have done just fantastic work uh just showing who they are and and in this episode i think that the one that shines the most of course is theo i think that that performance of her explaining what she felt or what she didn't feel after touching nell it just it broke my heart and like it made me feel for her it I, I was there in that moment with her and it it was just it was an amazing performance this has nothing to do with me just loving Theo and the actress who plays Theo but it's more of like that was a pretty damn good 
scene, a pretty damn good way of delivering the, scene, the, the lines. It was just truly fucking amazing. Loved every single second of it. Um, but yeah, like I said, I loved it. It was just so, it was so good. It was so good. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I, I'm glad that they explain what happened with uh, the husband, with Kevin. I honestly didn't understood what was happening. I, I, I was, I was confused because uh, Theo is, if I'm not wrong, she's a lesbian. She's not bisexual. So I, have a, I had an issue with that because I was like, how, why will she do that, you know? And now we get the uh, explanation that it was her trying to reach to someone. And, and, and he was right there in that moment. And I feel in a way maybe what is happening in the house and the ghost in the house and everything leaking back... Uh, in real life, I think it was more like of that, and the fact that she touched Nelly, like she she said, and she just wanted to feel something, and feeling shame and sorrow and all of that was better than feel than not feeling anything. Uh, and I just, it was just amazing. It was just amazing performance. But I'm I'm also thankful that we get the explanation that we needed because it could have give like leave it just like ambiguous and thankfully they didn't you know um now one thing that i i do want to point out before this episode um i was just treating this show as a scary show which it's a still scary don't get me wrong it's still very much scary and i i jumped so much with that nail when she, oh my god uh but the thing is that i want to understand it as well from a steven's point of view and you know if you take out the supernatural aspect of the show of course you know talking to someone who's not there uh having this moment and like everything the mom is doing right now, of course you're gonna think she's having an episode. That is the normal answer, you know? But I think that even though if they have some sort of like mental illness, it's been just like, they, they, they're they just making it worse by being at the house. I feel like the mom and, and, and Shirley and um, Theo and Nelly and Luke, they were, um how can you say they were they are they were a little bit more subsept i don't know how to pronounce that word um they have that empathy they have something in there that make them more easy praise on the ghost and the things that are happening right now i feel like the mom when the mom disconnects herself and when the mom like kind of like see some other things and kind of change and shift it's more like she see like she goes to like a, a an parallel thing but i don't want to say parallel universe but more like a parallel dimension uh where you know her her worst fears are there and i feel like it's more of that but i could like or maybe the ghost just you know like to make her hallucinate things now cheryl was there theo was there they kept knocking on the doors and I feel like I feel like the house and the ghosts in the house they stayed with them and they are forcing them back into the house. I feel like I feel like they are doing that. Um I feel also like in that last moment where Luke just lights the can the 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 thing and throws it out and like it's kind of like goes like this like it kind of just started to set fire but it stops. It kind of feels like there was some sort of shift and we have seen that uh, the house can make you hallucinate and see the house in a completely different state. So maybe, and the lights turn on red. Okay, so maybe it means that the house will, it, it is on fire, but uh, the, what is the name of this? The, the uh, I mean, look, uh, just it's not seeing it, you know, I 
maybe I believe that. I don't know. But I just am so afraid that now all of them are going there. Now, I did felt, uh, and I don't think I mentioned this for whatever reason, but I did felt when I was watching, when they got out, I felt like the house just wasn't done with them. You know, they wanted to kill all of them. But the dad was more of like, I'm not going to fight this. I'm just going to take them out and I'm going to run. And like the house is not going to take them. And in his idea to protect them, he never told them the truth. At least not to Cheryl, to Cheryl or to um, Stephen because uh, they, you know, he didn't want to, like the less you guys know, then the less you will want to come back to the house. And it has worked for this amount of time until Nelly decides to go there and ends up killing. Now, I don't believe that Nelly, Nelly's, like, Theo said that she didn't feel anything, you know? Maybe her uh, soul, Nelly's soul, is not there and is trapped in the house. That's why she didn't feel anything. And I feel that for whatever reason that ghost is going to try to save them and protect them. She did said no to don't go or like run or something like that to look when they were in the, in the, uh, when they were burying her. And I believe that maybe she is going to try to protect them. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, but honestly, this episode just was just so good so good like every single episode of this show is so good and right now like i said at the beginning oh i'm not watching any anything more tonight and like i want to watch one more but i'm not i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna save it for tomorrow so it's midnight i'm watching more shit at midnight um next episode is 57 minutes long and the finale is 71 minutes i'm watching this mm -mm, no uh, i'm gonna leave it so i can watch it later but like I said, this episode was just truly, truly amazing. And and what it means uh, for the kids and for the dad and the fact that dad wants to protect them. But he finally said things to, to uh, what's his name? To Steve. And like, I saw the guy that was fixing the clock and I was like, that looks a little bit odd. And like... I don't know, he didn't seem like he was part of all of this. So I was like, that seems a little bit weird. And it turns out, you know, that was a ghost, you know? Because the dad never, never uh, hired someone to fix the clock. So whoever was that, it wasn't the, it wasn't, it was a ghost. Uh, and I think it was the hill guy, right? Hmm, very interesting. Um... What else? What else? What else? Uh, yeah, well, we also hear from, from Steve the fact that the mom's body was, you know, so bruised and like a lot of things happened to her. And we did saw her limping. Uh, so, yeah, she broke her ankle as well. And like a lot of things like she bashed her head just like like Theo saw. And like it was it's just so gruesome and like so crazy. And very very scary if you ask me but yeah anyways i'm excited uh to continue watching i will watch the next episode next uh tomorrow or then or, or wednesday i think uh but yeah i'm not watching anything else tonight i i just i don't feel like it uh but i hope that you guys have enjoyed my reaction video we can continue the conversation um it, and you know maybe focus a little bit more on the mental illness in the family that is just being trigger and like making it worse by the fact that this house is haunted as well but i love the family dynamic i love that that uh steve had a moment to talk to his dad steve is just you know so he's also very fucked up even if he doesn't want to admit it even if he didn't live the most traumatic things like nelly or luke or theo but i think that he's still uh pretty much you know I, I cannot imagine a, 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 a young boy having to live with the fact that your mom killed herself, you know? And, like, that has to suck. And then you have to understand that there was, uh, well, drug, drug abuse, you know, by the brother, the sister who have the sleep paralysis and, like, a lot of other issues that she might have had. And, like, all of that, it has to, like, 
do numbers to him as well, you know? Um, I like Steve. It's not like I love Steve as much as I love Theo, but it's okay. He, I, I believe that he is a, he's a good part as well for the show to have someone who is a little bit uh, skeptical about all of this, you know? It's a good balance because we have people who just truly believe like Luke and, and, and Theo and Nelly and the dad and people who just, you know, are not that convinced or they don't want to say that that happened, which is, you know, Shirley and, and, um, what's his name? Steven. So yeah. Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like I said, please give it a lot of thumbs up, subscribe for more, comment, hit the notification bell, go to Patreon to watch the full uncut, unedited reaction for this episode. And that will be it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I will see you guys next time for more reaction videos for the haunting of Hill House. Mwah. Bye, guys.